All right, you guys, so I ordered it. If you clicked on this video, you know exactly what this is. Mr. Beast Burger. I'm just happy that there's actually a Mr. Beast sticker on here because I ordered um, the Migos, pretty much uh, the Migos deals from Popeyes before, and it was just regular packaging, so it didn't have anything special. Let me show you what I ordered. Chandler style burger. Chris style burger. This tiny little waste of money. Carl's grilled cheese. This is a waste of money. Sorry, I didn't even open it yet. But I could tell it's a waste of money. <laughs> oh. This doesn't have a special sticker, but this is the beast style burger. With some beast style fries. Okay, so. I'm a day late. I am a day late because I didn't have time to order it yesterday. But here is the beast style fries. These are the beast style fries. It looks like it has pickles, cheese, just fries. I'm not sure if that's sour cream or what. I'm not sure exactly what's on here. Mm. A little spice to it. I couldn't even wait. I just dove right into it. So they did have they did have combos, but uh, all they ser were serving was the burger fries and canned Pepsi's. So they want Pepsi. Uh, pretty much, if you saw Mr. Beast's video, they had their own restaurant. Uh, these ones are only available through Uber Eats and other delivery services. But uh, you know what? Let's, let's just start with Carl's. Uh, I think I will be disappointed because all this is is. is all this is, is a grilled treat. I can't even talk. All this is, is a grilled treat sandwich. Look at that. What was this, five bucks? I knew, I knew it wasn't gonna be worth it when I ordered it. Okay, and it's, <laughs> it's an inverted bun. So upside down bun with two slices of cheese. And uh, yeah, or a few slices of cheese. That's, I knew it wasn't going to be worth it, but to support Mr. Beast and the restaurant that they uh, collaborated with to make these. Would I order this again? Probably not. I didn't want to order it the first time. <laughs> it's not worth $5, but it's not bad for a grocery sandwich. Probably because of the bun. Soft. It would have been funny if they used like Wonder Bread or something. These fries are really good though. Like I said, this is only available through Uber Eats. So, I mean, Uber Eats and other places, I only use Uber Eats. Carl, it was a waste of money, but that was for you. I got three burgers to try. I'm not gonna be able to finish all three burgers. <clears throat> Let's go with the, uh, our favorite loser, because <laughs> he always loses, Chandler. So this is the part I'm nervous about. Because I was a day late, I did check like Twitter and all that stuff, and there was a complaint about people getting raw meat. It's not raw. Okay, so my burger's cooked, that's good. But all this is is two patties, cheese, and a bun. All right, so my background lighting went out, so it's a little bit dark now. <laughs> The Chandler is just like two pieces of meat and cheese. I didn't get any extras like the bacon, uh, ketchup, mustard, because there was a charge for every single thing, like 25 cents for mustard, 25 cents for ketchup, and bacon was like a dollar or something or two dollars. It's not that I'm being cheap, it's just that uh, pretty much the three burgers, the grilled cheese and the fries was $40. Pretty much lunch is kind of expensive for me. Especially when it's just like, just basic food. 
All right, so up next we have the Chris style burger. I just noticed, so the challenge sticker is just pretty much just says his name. When it says Chris style, Chris style, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a wine, or was it champagne or something? The rappers used to drink back in the 90s. <clears throat> the Chris style burger has fries on top. So there's fries in this burger. Okay, so this one's actually, a, it's a heavy burger. This one's, it, it weighs a good amount. <clears throat> I think it has to do with the fries, but also comes with bacon and cheese. Cheese, bacon, fries. I'm gonna tear it open because Twitter says it's raw meat. I'm good. This is good to go. It's cooked. The bacon's a little fatty, but hmm. I'm already getting full. <laughs> but uh, Chris, Chris, good job, Chris. Actually, a pretty good burger. All right. So for last, <clears throat> the last thing I to eat is the beast style burger. This one's not as heavy as Chris's. Pretty much this is uh, two patties, mayo, ketchup, cheese, and a bun. Onions, has onions as well. It smells good. I was because of the onions. If you guys don't have onions on burgers, what are you doing? <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I'm already full. <laughs> I'm already full, but I'm gonna try this. <sighs> the onions definitely make a difference in a burger. Oh, this also has the condiments, so yeah, it's a good burger. I am not gonna be able to finish this. I gotta tap out. I'm done. Can't do it. Overall, Mr. Beast Burger was actually pretty good. It's a tasty burger. If you're in Las Vegas, will this be the best burger ever? <laughs> so if you're lucky enough to pretty much have one of these Mr. Beast burgers in your city, try it out, it's pretty good. If I had to choose one burger, it would definitely be the Beast Burger. Uh, Carl, I'm sorry. That grilled cheese was pretty much a waste of money. If you guys happen to order, if you guys happen to order Mr. Beast and you're using, you don't know which one to use, use Uber Eats, use my code. It's right here, down below. It's also in the description, so check it out. I am super full. I am super full. All right, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah. Bye.